Good afternoon. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is evaluating the engine condition on this 1965 Mustang. Uh, let me put, kind of put you in your own shoes here that you just purchased this car. Uh, you've looked it over real well. It's a nice car. Everything, paint, fit, and finish are great on it. And you plan on driving this car down the road and getting it out and using it, going on some tours. But you really don't know what the mechanical condition of this engine is in. So what we're going to talk about today is how to evaluate this engine without taking a lot of parts off it. We can actually do it with a little bit of testing. We can check and see what condition this engine is in, how it's running, and is it going to be good for you to get out there and have some trouble-free driving with it, or are there some issues inside this engine internally that are going to cause concern and are going to need to be repaired before you put this car on the road and try to get some mileage out of it and some driving experiences. So the first thing we're going to do basically is um, we're just going to check the simple things. We're going to pull the dipstick out. Oil. Right there. And uh, basically this oil looks a little on the dirty side, but it's a detergent oil. Detergent oil will get dirty. That's the whole purpose of it. Uh, it's supposed to pick up the contaminants in the engine from combustion and other things, carry them through, and, get, and these particles will get caught in the filter. And that's what keeps the oil as clean as possible with particles and dirt and things like that. Uh, but pulling this dipstick out, you want to take a quick peek at it. And if it's extremely dirty, extremely dirty and extremely running, just take a sniff. And if it smells a lot like gasoline, that will give you an indication that maybe this engine is running a little on the rich side. Most carbureted cars with automatic and manual chokes would basically have a little bit of gas smell to them in a car of this vintage, about 1965. So this oil tells me here that it's, it's been in there a while. It's dirty. It's not extremely light. So I, I don't have any concerns here that uh, it looks like just normal, dirty, uh, high detergent oil probably could be changed in the near future. If, for instance, you pull this dipstick out and the oil was way up on top above the fuel level and it smelled like gasoline, that would definitely tell me that we've got raw gas going down past the cylinder walls into the oil. Another indication that if this was over full is I would be concerned that there may be a little bit of water antifreeze mixture in the bottom of the oil pan. Uh, water and antifreeze mixture is heavier than oil and it will settle on the bottom of the pan. So if this was extremely high, either someone overfilled it or we may have some water in the bottom of the oil pan. So what I would do next is I would just jack the car up and very slowly take out the drain plug in the oil pan and see what comes out first, very, very carefully. If there's any water in the bottom of that oil pan, it's going to come out first, any green antifreeze or water. Uh, it would be an indication that would tell us that we've got a leak, maybe an internal crack in the block, cylinder head, or a uh, head gasket. So again, just by looking at the oil uh, can tell you a lot about the condition of this engine. And I would say this is OK. No strong gasoline smell, a little bit there. But any carbureted engine going way back, even into the teens and 20s on up until we get into fuel injected cars, anything with a choke, carbureted, will end up with a little bit of gas in the oil. Uh, normally, this isn't a major concern unless it gets really diluted. Then you're taking away the lubrication quality of the oil and you're going to start wearing internal engine parts because the oil can't lubricate the way it's supposed to. So basically, I would have no concern with this. It's uh, maybe after we're all done with the other chest on this, I give the oil a change, change the filter, and we should be good to go. Uh, 